Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Postgres SQL or Postgres SQL database on your Windows system. So let's start the video. So you can open any of your favorite browser and just type Postgres SQL download. And guys, here you can see the search result. It is showing me official website of Postgres that is postgresql.org. You can call it as Postgres SQL or SQL. Both are correct. So you need to just click on this download Postgres SQL link. And guys, it will redirect you to download page. And here you can see it's showing you different packages and installer depending on operating system so uh, whatever operating system you have you can select i'm having windows so i'm just selecting this windows button and now guys it will redirect you to windows installer interactive installer by edb edb is nothing but enterprise database and here you need to click on download the installer Okay guys, now here it is an open source database and depending on your system architecture, it's showing you different versions of Postgres SQL. So now for Windows 64-bit architecture, I'm downloading latest version 15.1. If you have a Windows architecture 32, you can just scroll down and take the lower uh, version. Okay, now guys here it will start download of your exe file so you can see the download has been started it will not take much time and guys my download is done now i will be installing this exe so to install this database you need to just click on this exe and guys let me minimize my browser and now here it's uh, it's showing me welcome to postgres sql setup wizard so i need to click on next button and here it's showing me the directory where my uh, postgres sql will be installed so it will be in c colon program files postgres sql and under that 15 okay so if you wish to change you can click on this browse directory and change it i'm keeping the default and i'm clicking on next so guys here it is showing me different component which will be installed on my system so it's showing me postgres sql server pg admin stack builder and command line tool so server and pg admin is a necessary tool last two you can decide whether you want to install or not stack builder is used for downloading any of the component uh, related to driver and all that and command line tool again is uh, important tool so i'm downloading all the tools if you wish to deselect you can and just click on this next button okay so here it's showing me the data directory where my data will be stored so it will be again c colon program files postgres sql 15 in that a folder data will be created and all your database and data will be stored in this folder so guys if you wish to change click on this browse button and change i'm keeping default and i have click on next button and now guys here it is asking super user password so whatever password you are providing you need to remember this password because for login we need and just provide password and click on next button and guys this is a port where your uh, server will run and listen so default port is 5432 so click on next button and now here you don't have to do anything just keep it default local and click on next button okay guys so now here it's showing me the pre-installation sub box you don't need to do anything just click on next button now guys here you need to click again next button and you can see the installation has been started and it will take a few minutes so let's wait okay guys you can see here it is showing me that setup has finished installing the postgres sql on your uh, system and here it is showing me checkbox uh, stack builder will download some of the additional tools if you check mark this it will download some tools so let's click on finish button 
and then here it's asking me uh, something related to stack builder so what i'll do i'll just cancel this i will not install the tools related to stack builder for time being i don't require so just click on cancel button okay so now your um postgres sql installation is done now we will be opening pg admin okay, so in search box you can just type pg so it is showing me pg admin 4 just open this guys here it is starting my pg admin so this is a gui tools for postgres sql and since we are starting it first time it takes a while okay so it's showing me pg admin 4 started and here you can see it's asking me the uh, super user password so whatever password you gave during installation just provide that and click on ok button and now guys here you can see it is showing me server let me expand this and here again it is asking me password so let me provide the password over here and click on ok button so as soon as i click on ok button you can see my server has been started and here it's showing me database one so by default one database is available that is postgres if you wish to create your database you can so let me show you how to create database how to create table how to insert values so what you need to do for creating database just select this database and right click and click on create database option and guys here you need to provide your database name so i'm giving database name as demo db and then here you can see different tabs are there available which are showing information about your database and this is sql query for your database you need to just click on this save button okay so as soon as you click on save button you can see under database it's showing me two that mean my database has been created and this is my demo db database database and guys in this database you can see there are so many things available okay so i will be showing you how to create table so for that you need to just uh, go to this uh, schema option and there you need to go to tables option so here first i will be showing you the simple way of creating table so just select this table and right click and here you can see the option create table okay just select that create table of create and then table so just select create table option and here you need to provide your table name so i'm providing table name as emp and now guys you need to go to the next tab that is columns and here you can provide columns so i'm clicking on this plus button and give your column name so the first column name i'm providing as e number and here you need to give the data type so these are the available data type i'm selecting integer so just scroll down and select integer and then uh, whether you want not null primary key default value so you can set all the things so I'm not uh, setting all that thing I'm just taking it as primary key and I'm clicking on save button and guys you can see under table my EMP table has been created and let me expand EMP table now guys I will create one more column in this table I have created only EMP number column E number column so I will create uh, another column also so suppose you forgot to create some column during uh, this step so you can add letter also so just select columns and right click and there is an option create column so just select this and now give the column name so i'm giving column name as e name and then you need to give the data type so here i'm selecting data type as uh, varying character okay so um, just select that data type and now uh, if you want to provide any constraint you can do that i'm just showing you the sql part of this so it has generated sql part just click on save button so guys now two column has been created to my emp table e number and e name okay so column is done now what we'll do uh, i will show you two more option one way is what you can do through script also okay or you can do through query tools also okay so uh, this was the first option other option we are also having so let's go to that now let's uh, start with query tools so select your table so here is my emp table and then right click and here you can see we have a option for 
scripts as well as option for query tools so let's select query tools and then here it will start my query tool and guys you can see at the top it's showing me demo db so it is for my database and here i am writing one command create table student so i am creating student table with two column uh, roll number uh, and name column so roll number i am giving serial so uh, one two three and sequentially number will be generated and i am going to take this as primary key so serial and primary key and then second column i am giving as name and this name column i am taking as var care okay so after writing this query what you need to do you need to just execute this query by clicking on this play button so it's showing me create table successfully done now i'll go to my table and i'm going to refresh it so just refresh it and guys you can see now it's showing me two table and here is my emp table and here is my student table okay so um, you can use query tools also now let's go to script so here we have different script available create insert delete so i'm taking insert and now i will be adding values so id i am not going to add because i have taken serial so i'm just removing it and i'm just adding name so here in values i'm just passing in single quote sunita so now again let me just execute this command so you can see insert query has been successfully are um, done executed now i will again select script and here i'm selecting select script and guys my select script has been generated i'm just executing it so you can see it's showing me my data also so guys this way you can install a uh, postgres sql on your system and also you can use it i hope by following my video you are able to successfully install uh, postgres sql on your system and you are able to create your databases and table if yes guys then don't forget to hit on like button and if you are facing any difficulties you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys uh, do join my telegram channel I have given link in description box i'm sharing lots of pdf related to programming coding freely on my telegram channel so do join that and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care